Amber does that for us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Today we're going to see temperatures maybe record breaking again. But you, you'll notice that there's a difference. We have the clouds overhead. So the clouds could thwart our records today. Right now, it looks like we're on track to possibly breaking some records, but you can see that the clouds are pretty thick. They're coming in from the Pacific, so it is a mid to high level sort of clouds, a band of them rolling in. So once it rolls in, it could, could put a cap on these temperatures, but it's still very toasty outside. You can see at the bottom of your screen outside of our KK9 Broadcast Center, about 80 degrees. All right, with the WeatherCam Network, you can see that we started off with some thicker clouds, and then now we're starting to see the clouds thin out, and we're seeing much more of the sunshine and the blue sky. So this definitely could help as we head into the afternoon if we are looking to see uh, for, for some records to be broken. Otherwise, temperatures right now mainly in the 80s and 70s, except in the mountains, a little bit cooler at about 55. But overall, the winds have definitely calmed down. We don't have any warnings or have any advisories. We just have some light to calm winds across the Southland, and temperatures remain above average. You can see we've been trending uh, above average since Saturday. Normally, we should be in the upper 60s for downtown LA. We're looking at high, possibly about 84 degrees. So, uh, as I mentioned, could we break more records today? It all depends on just how much of the cloud cover continues to stream overhead. We're still looking at that northwesterly flow, but the weather pattern remains pretty quiet and warm, at least for the next few days. These are the top contenders that could potentially break some records. Areas like Long Beach, Camarillo, Lancaster, Riverside, Lake Elsinore, and even Big Bear Lake today. That high pressure system is still with us, but as we head into the next few days, it's going to start to wobble a little bit more west over the Pacific, and that in turn will allow some cooler conditions to move in. But again, because that high pressure system is still with us, we're still going to feel those temperatures staying above average, but it's going to be much quieter compared to the last couple of days. So as we head into the weekend, take a look. We're looking at temperatures today in the mid to low 80s for some areas of the Inland Empire. We will continue to stay above average, but again, cooling down ever so surely uh, with temperatures going down just by a few degrees. 72 today will be the high for Palmdale, 83 for Almonte, 86 for Anaheim, 75 for Huntington Beach, and for the San Fernando Valley, expect temperatures to stay in the 80s today. 82 for Northridge, 82 for Simi Valley, even 81 for Santa Monica, even though we do have some high clouds, some overcast conditions. By the time we head into tomorrow, as I mentioned, we will slowly start to cool down. Temperatures dropping a little bit more to the 70s. We'll still stay in the 70s though for our beach communities through the beginning of next week, but it's not until possibly the middle of next week where things really start to cool down. That high pressure system though is staying with us for the next seven days. Back to you. Amber, thank you. Thanks, Amber.